Chow Gu Forte Interchangeable Needle Set. The buzz has been loud, but information has been sparse. Tonight, thanks to my awesome friend and rep, Michael, I have a full set of the Forte, and I'm going to show you everything. We'll go through the entire set, and I'm so excited to share this with you. I'm Ellen Lewis from Crazy For You. And if you don't already, please subscribe to my channel for more information like this. I do product reviews and pattern roundups and tips and tricks to help you knit garments that are fun to knit and fabulous to wear. So about these Forte needles, <laughs> they are so amazing. So, um, we got a sneak peek of them last spring when Chow Gu sent out a little email teaser with a picture of them and the fact that they were going to be debuting them at H&H. &H. I have to tell you, part of the reason I went to H&H &H was to see these needles. I was that excited about it. So um, I guess to make a long story short, I went, I saw, I ordered. <laughs> So that was, that was really fun. So I would love to um, show you guys. So let me go ahead and get the camera set up and I will show you what we got. Hey everybody, thanks for joining. So nice to see you. All right, so here we go. Let me get this up a little higher. And here we are, okay. So I know you guys are excited. If you are in the audience, tell me if you are excited. Uh, Sandy, I know you already got yours on pre-order. <laughs> so fun. So, okay, so here they are. Um, beautiful packaging, right? I am, I'm a big fan of packaging. I think it makes a difference. And if you don't think that it makes a difference, I invite you to think about the box that your iPhone came in because beautiful packaging really, I think it sort of sets the stage for what's going on with your product, right? Um, so beautiful packaging. It's this lovely kind of heavy uh, cardboard um, box. It, you know, it feels really substantial. But it's got a little bit of, you know, the crunchy granola feel because it's obviously post-consumer processed and they have a, a big, um, you know, recycle label on the back. So super, you know, super well thought out. I think, I think the whole font thing is beautiful. They are special edition, absolutely fabulous. All right. So, and that's just the box, guys, right? So when you open them up, you see this nice little pouch, which is this non-woven kind of little pouch. And, you know, unwrapping it like this, you know, you definitely get the feeling that you have something special in your hand, right? So they have their little logo sticker on there, which is really pretty. And here we go. So awesome. Okay, so here they are. This is their, their gray. It's a vegan leather case. And it has this pretty little embossing with the Chow Gu name on it. And I'm, I'm not even gonna take this, this off. It's all very carefully protected, but I can tell you this is a little um, zipper tag for the, the case. It's that same vegan leather. It has a really sturdy zipper. So let's open it up and see what is inside. There's my dog making herself known. All right. Um, so here we go. Okay. <laughs> is I'm just going to let this sit there a minute. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it just lovely? So, um, as you can see, it's not just an interchangeable needle set. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. It's basically your go-to knit kit, right? You take this with you and you've got everything you need, right? 
Um, so let's go through. My goodness, my dog is making such a racket. Okay, there's this cute little, little tape measure. It's got a little, uh, can you see the angle? It's got the same little, little embossed logo in there. Nice, nice little tape measure, very cute. And it fits in its own little place, you know? So it's right there where you need it, when you need it. And we have a needle sizer and a gauge measurement, two inches. You know, I like bigger swatches than that, but this would do in a pinch for sure, right? You have some little scissors, very sharp, very sharp little um, embroidery type scissors. The point is very sharp and they're just really nice. And again, they have their own little place. Very cleverly thought out too. Look at this little um, base here where the, the tip goes in. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna cut you. It's not gonna poke anything. I'm not even gonna take these tabs off, but well, I am gonna take this one off. This is a little, um, what do you call that? Um, a little hook, like a little lobster, lobster claw. I don't know what you would put in there. You might put, I don't know, your keys or something. If you have one of those little devices that are little things that tells you how to do the kitchen or stitch, you might want to do that. So this I think is wonderful. This is this tiny little metal case that has all kinds of little notions in it. So there's little one of these little rubber grippy things, which helps you tighten your um, needles. And then there's a whole pouch of all the things that you would expect with an interchangeable needle set. Let's see, stitch markers and um, hang on just a second. Let me get this open. I didn't open this. Okay, so stitch markers and cable protectors. You know, if you're gonna take your, your needles, your project off the needles, you need to use those needles for something else. This is a, you know, a stopper. And then you have all of these, and these are all metal, metal needles. I mean, uh, metal stitch markers, small and large size. I'm gonna put those back in there and put them back into the plastic later on. I promised Michael I would get this back to him in absolute pristine condition. Okay, so when you buy it, obviously you would dump that out into there. So there's a couple safety pins, just standard safety pins in case you need those. Um, some T pins, in case you wanna hold your swatch out while you're um, measuring it, you wanna just hold that out to the right, right width. You might wanna add a couple of those in there, but very nice. And here's what I love. You have two darning needles in there. Um, so if you get finished with your project and you want to sew it up or weave in your ends, you have those right there with you. So that's super nice. And I'll set that aside for just a minute. All right, there's a pen in case you are taking notes or you're writing down what you are, you know, what row you're on. Okay, but what you really want to see, I know, is the needles. So this is the needle. So you have all of your small needles. They go from size, US size two, which is 2.75. There's a two and a half. They go up to US size eight, but wait. On the other side, they go up to US 15. And I actually pulled the size 15s out because that's what I was, was trying, but they are right here and they are amazing. So all of your cables are in this little pouch back here. You have three of each of the sizes. So with the Chow Gu, as you, as you know, the Chow Gu has a different sized connector for the different sizes of needles. So the smallest up to eight has the small connection. And then the eight to 15 has the larger connection. So you have three for each set. And these are the new swivel cables that rotate in 360. So I'll show you those when I'm talking about the needles. So they all live here in this little pouch, so they won't get lost. And look at this. 
the needles come right out of the case. So you have this whole little needle board, which means that you can just take your needles if you wanted to. If you, you know, for whatever reason, you didn't want to take all this other stuff, you could take just the needles with you. Um, and I'll tell you, being able to get the needles out of the case like this makes it a lot easier to get them out of their sleeve. So they are very firmly in this sleeve. They're not going to slip out at all. They are absolutely wonderful. And then this is magnetic, right? It just slips right back in. Click, click, right? And what I wanted to show you, the reason I pulled this out is because all of these little things hook to your magnet. See? Isn't that cool? So you can, um, I'm pretty sure these little stitch markers, yep, the stitch markers are magnetic too. And all of these little things, so you're not going to lose them. So I think that's way, way cool. Okay. Oh, and there are also in there, there are little adapters. So when you need to join two sets of cables together to make a longer cable, you can do that. And that is that is what this little, this little device is, right? And there are two of those, one for the large set and one for the small. And yes, Michael, I promise I'll get these all back in there perfectly together, I promise. Okay, so what do you think so far? Tell me in the comments. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about the needles themselves. Um, let me see my mouse here. So I pulled out the US 15. Now these have, as I said, the, the SWIV 360, let me close this up a second. They have the SWIV 360, which means that the cable, rather than being attached here at the join, it is inserted. Can you see how that allows me to, twi to twist the needle around and around? Um, a lot of people find that when the needle doesn't rotate on the cable, that it puts extra strain on their wrist. So this is something that um, has, has been designed for this set. These cables are also available separately. Um, if you wanted to use them on your existing set of Chao Gu, you can absolutely do that. But they come standard with this um, Forte set. And the cables themselves are really pretty. They're this silver, silver color, so everything is all beautifully coordinated. And I think that looks really, really nice. It's just, you know, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. Um, the feel of them uh, is beautiful, very, very smooth and lovely. Um, normally with chow gu, you have either, um, you have the, the shaft of it is made of the metal, but these, as I said, are made of African blackwood. So um, let's talk a little bit about what African blackwood is. So when you when you think about this kind of wood, you're probably most familiar with it in um, the context of like a musical instrument. Okay, so your clarinets and oboes are made of African blackwood. And it's become very popular, it's rare, it's a beautiful wood with a very, very fine grain, um, an even texture, and it's just really smooth and it takes the polish really nicely. And it is becoming um, a little bit over farmed, but you don't have to worry about that because I asked about that when I was talking to the woman at the Chow Gu booth. And what she said was these needles are made from the scraps that are used to make those instruments. The, the bits of wood that are too small to machine into um, a musical instrument or you know other purposes, this is what's left over. The quality is absolutely the same. They are beautiful but it doesn't contribute to any kind of over harvesting of the wood. So yay, <laughs> that makes me super happy. Um, let's look at them a little more. Okay. All right. So super smooth. The tip is every bit as wonderful as you would expect. I pulled the 15s to look at because um, 
with the stiletto tip that we typically think of with chow goo, it's in the larger sizes and with bulkier yarns that I tend to have a bit of a problem. So I wanted to pull the 15, which is the largest size. And I, I just happened to be working on a project that called for 15. So I started using it. And I got to tell you, it was they're absolutely wonderful to work with. Um, there was no splitting of my yarn. I'm going to pull my project over here and work a couple rows and show you. So let me see if I can get this up here. Okay. So this is this is actually brushed fleece, which is something that that can't you can get a two pointy needle on if you you know you can split the stuff. But I didn't have any issue, you know, working with these with these tips. They are you know they're perfect. And as I I always say in the um, reviews that I do of Chow Gu, it's impossible to argue with this cable. This is an absolutely no kink cable. Um, everybody loves this, this cable. It's just, it's probably one of the biggest selling points for Chow Gu is that cable. Well, and plus this tip. So the, the tip here is the same stiletto tip that you expect from Chow Gu, and it is made of surgical steel. So you have the beauty of the warm wood in your hand, but the nice, um, pointy tip for if you need to do fine work. But they're, they're extremely smooth to knit with. Um, they, they feel wonderful. Now, if you are one of those people that does not like chow goo, you will, for whatever reason, the sound or whatever, they do still make that sound. But um, if you like, if you prefer like wood in your hand, this is absolutely the perfect answer for that because you get the feel of the wood in your hand, but the functionality of that very sharp tip to knit with. So it's really, really wonderful. I did have, um, I did ask Jenny May, who does all of our, our sock knitting and, and teaches the socks and stuff. I asked her to try the smallest one, which as I said, is the, um, the US two with a fine yarn because sometimes when you have that swivel tip um let's see if i can show you again and just remind you when you have this swivel tip it's that that join right here is not going to feel quite as smooth as it might if you had a fixed tip so what i was concerned about was using a very fine yarn and the smaller needles would there be any catching here at this swivel join? And she was pleased to tell me that it, there was no catching at all. And she loved it so much. She called me, she said, can I get a set? <laughs> so um, yeah, so really, really nice. Um, so that was, like I said, that was one of the things that I was worried about is that swivel join and whether that caused any kind of catching with a finer yarn, because it, you wouldn't notice it with a, um, you know, a larger yarn, but with a fingering weight or a lace weight yarn, you might notice that it would get caught right there, but it didn't. So they have managed to create a swivel join that gives you the functionality for the ease on your wrist and also the knitting so that it doesn't um, it doesn't catch in any way. So they are beautiful. Let's see, have any questions? Um, love the other sets I had. These look great. Yeah, they are beautiful. Okay, does it, does it come? So yes, let's talk about these, um, these tips again. So these are five inch needles right? The tips are five inch and the cables are sized to give you 24, 32 and 40 inch lengths plus the join. So you can join any of those together and get um, a, you know, longer cable as you need it. It does have this little hole right here where you can um, get additional torque using that little device, the little, you know, little um, pin in there, the little T-pin. Um, so that's, that's what, actually, that's what that's for. I said that those T-pins were for holding your blocking thing out, but they're not. They're for inserting in here 
and giving you giving you a little extra torque on the needle. Um, yeah, you could use them for holding your um, you know your swatch out, but that's why they're in there. Is the T pins are to give you extra torque so that you can tighten that needle tip down nice and snug. And that little red heart gripper allows you to get a better grip on the needle itself. So you hold the needle in one hand and oh here let me show you you hold the needle in one hand and the um with the gripper and then the little torque pin in there okay so here's the little torque pin t pin and the little needle gripper right here so if you wanted to change out your needle you're going to put your put your little pin in that hole and then this this little gripper lets you get a nice tight grip on the needle tip. So, you know, rotating it towards you comes undone. Super easy. It has a really long, um, you know, nice screw in set. So you feel it feels really sturdy. It's the same join that you find on other Chowgu needles. So if you like that join, you will love this. Absolutely love this. Um, okay, I have a question here. I have Addy Squares and another set. Why would I want another set? I love them and am trying to justify. Yeah, okay. So why would you want, um, would you want this set? Um, well, they're beautiful. I mean, they are absolutely lovely. Um, do you need them? Uh, probably not, you know, I mean, need, want, need, want. If you, if you like an all-in-one package, if you're the kind of person that likes to have one pack, you can grab that thing and go and know with confidence that you have pretty much everything that you're going to need to take with you in one beautiful, sleek, elegant package. You can just tuck it into your knitting bag or tuck it into your suitcase um, and know that when you get to wherever you're going, you're not going to be needing to run out for stitch markers or a darning needle or the needle size that you don't have or scissors or, you know, a little gauge measure or measuring tape. It's all right there. So that's part of its appeal. Um, secondly, I sort of look at these needles as um, you know, they're like a work of art. That African blackwood is so lovely. It is really just in and of itself a beautiful thing. I was reading about it um, a little bit earlier today and it's very hard to, to tool that wood. It's so hard um, that you can't do it with like with hand tools. It has to be machined with um, metal tools. So it's it's very durable. And the workmanship on this, the polish, the whole thing. I mean, they are beautiful. They are exquisite. Like many of you, I have more than half a dozen interchangeable needle sets, <laughs> and I want this. <laughs> I want this in an unhealthy kind of way. <laughs> they are lovely. Um, Jenny Stein, who is, you know, many of you have met her at the shop. She was concerned. Um, she said it felt heavy, right? So, and, and I was holding it in the box and I thought, yeah, you know, it does kind of feel a little heavy. Um, but, you know, our minds play tricks on us and we're not always a good judge of weight or color or other kinds of things. So I took it out to my kitchen scale and I took them out of the box and I weighed the whole set in the case with the needles and the notions and everything. And it weighed exactly one pound, 6.3 ounces, which is, you know, less than a pound and a half. And then I picked up my, you know, several of my um, existing interchangeable needle sets and my notions case they weighed 2.4, two, two pounds, four ounces together. So I, I think when we have like a notion set, I mean, I know I tend to have way more stuff with me than I probably need. So this appeals to the kind of minimalist, clean aesthetic. Um, it really is an appealing 
package. You know, it's it's very, very pretty and um, it's nice to look at. I mean, it just, why do we buy anything, you know, as our tools? Why do we buy a pink set? Why do we buy, you know, a, a particular knitting bag? You know, we could we could put our knitting in a plastic bag for heaven's sake, right? Why do we, why do we do what we do? You know, it's about the accoutrement. Anytime we have a, a hobby or whatever, you know, I think the right tool enhances our enjoyment of that experience. So um, do you need them from a practical sense? Probably not. If you already have a set of chow gu needles that are serving you perfectly well, you probably don't need to add this to your collection. Um, that doesn't mean that you won't want them. <laughs> I wouldn't worry too much about it because they are very limited edition and I don't know if they will increase their production. I think a lot of it is driven by the demand for the wood and just their concern about making enough to um, fulfill all of the orders that they already have. So right now they're not taking any more orders. I can't get any more than what I ordered at H and H and you know, those are already sold out. So, um, I'm telling you about this set so that if you did order some, that you will feel great about it. If you can get some later on, I will, I will be the first to order them. So I, you know, I want them. If you want them, send me an email. If you're not already on my email list, go to the website, crazyforyou.com and subscribe to the, to the email list, to subscribe to the newsletter, just send me an email and tell me that you want to be on the wait list. And I'm going to be setting up a wait list for people who want them. So, you know, if they do open up more, I will have them. And I think I want them. <laughs> they are so pretty. They are just beautiful. All right, let's see. I have many interchangeables. Thought I would love Luca, but the tips are too rounded. I find my face. Yeah. Yeah, the, you know, again, it's very hard to argue with the cords and those those tips on the chow gu are just really, they're right on. They are spot on. They're, they're lovely. Let's see what else. Um, would it be hard to see dark yarn on the needles or is the tip long enough to make that a non-issue? Yeah, I think you answered the question yourself there, Polly. Um, if you are looking at the, um, the yarn on the needles, you're going to see mostly what your your working section is going to be up on that stainless steel tip so it's not going to be um it's not going to be an issue i had these out on the newsletter for several weeks for pre-order and um, i just sold the very last set last last night so yeah um, they are not japanese they are made in china um carolyn asked if they're japanese they're made in china um are the tips the same as the chow gu twist needles? The tips are the same, I believe, and I will check on this as the red lace. Okay, the tips are like the red lace. So they, they are very pointy. Um, not as pointy in the 15s as they are, but let me double check on that, Anne. Um, absolutely. Penny says, perfect for taking, yes, exactly, exactly, perfect for taking, um, let's see what else, love, yep, to torment us, yes, that's exactly why I'm telling you, <laughs> no, I'm telling you because I love you, and I want you to know about this thing, and um, I am hoping against hope that they will find a way to keep up with demand and to make them more available. Um, I called, so I spoke with my rep and they're not taking any more orders directly from Chow Gu, which is where I ordered them at H and H. I called a couple distributors that I work with and I was told that they are not taking any more orders from retailers. So we just have to wait and see. So I do hope that they make more because they really are lovely, but when I, when I have them, I am going to be sending the information out. If they do come again, I'm going to be sending the information out to my wait list first. So if you want some and, and you are not already on my newsletter list or you are, whatever, either way, send me an email. I am going to, um, I'm going to start the wait list and, you know, then, then I'll send that order out in, you know, I'll send the fact that we have them out 
to the wait list first. So anyway, were there any other questions about these that I can answer for you? I'm trying to check and see if there's anything else in the, in the comments. Um, all right. So that is the Chowgu Forte set. Um, like I said, I do hope that they have more available. I have a sneaky suspicion that they will, um, that they will be able to, but it might be a while. This set of orders is not coming out until late fall. So there's, there's no, you know, nothing to happen between now and then. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me. It is always a pleasure to see you and to share new things with you. If you're not already subscribed, please click subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have a question or a comment, go ahead and put it in the, um, in the, um, the comments and I answer all my comments directly. So until next time, have a great evening and keep knitting and create something beautiful. Thanks so much.